Hi everybody, I'm Essence. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about gratitude. Uh, if you're new to spirituality or personal development, you may hear people talking about starting a gratitude journal or some other kind of daily gratitude practice. And I wanted to share my perspective on gratitude. And for me, gratitude it is an emotion of thankfulness that I actually feel in my heart. It's not just uttering the words, I'm grateful for this lamp. You know, it's, it's actually a sense of appreciation that I am grateful for this lamp because it helps provide more light so I can see what I'm doing. And I appreciate that. So it's not just uttering the words, it's also to me being able to see the benefit and the value um, of the item and you know, how it yeah benefits you in your life. And it's also, it's an appreciation for who I am, what I have, no matter how big or small, and for where I am in life. And gratitude for me, it's, if I had to give you an example of how it makes me feel, um, sometimes I would say, you ever, somebody ever gave you something or maybe even if you bought it and then a couple days later you still look at it and you're just in appreciation and you're kind of like, oh, I just love this. It smells so good and you just value and appreciate it. That's kind of what, how gratitude feels to me. Um, if I had to give you an example of the way it makes me feel. and um, But you don't have to have something new in order to feel grateful. Uh, just to give you an example, I can share with you a time where I was actually in this not so great part of town and I got pulled over um, because I forgot to renew my tax and they told my car and then I realized I did not have my cell phone. And then I uh, went across the street to use the payphone and the payphone was ripped out. You know, so after that, I could really see the value in my cell phone. And I just, I am so grateful to have a cell phone. You know, and in that moment, I was, you know, grateful to be saved, grateful to make it home safely. But it doesn't have to be to that extreme. You could just be grateful for a piece of tissue because you ever blew your nose and then you didn't have anything. Or what if you were in public and there was no napkin or something in your life? <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't have to be that extreme. It could be something so small like a pen when you're trying to write down something really quick and you can't find a pen anywhere. So it's just, um, it's about being grateful in the moment for what you have and so think about a time you ever lost or misplaced something and then once you found it you just had this sense of relief and appreciation come over you or have you ever lost a job or your car or a relationship ended and maybe you were always complaining about it but then once it was gone you then saw the value and the and how much you actually appreciated it but by that time it was too late so don't wait until something is gone or missing before you begin to express appreciation for it. you can do that now and I just want to say to some of you because you might be like I was and say well when things change in my life then I'll start practicing gratitude Gratitude may be that gateway that opens the door for better things to come your way. It's like as long as you're ungrateful for what you have, why would you expect for more to come your way? Gratitude opens the door because you're focusing on the good in your life and that tends to open the door and allow more good to come your way. And so even though things aren't, it doesn't mean things have to be perfect. So even though they aren't, you could say something like, 
although my house needs repairs and I need I would like to redecorate I'm so grateful to have a roof over my head although I don't have my dream car I'm so grateful that every time I go to start my car it cranks and I can get from A to Z thank you you know you might dislike your job but be grateful for it and say although there's a lot of drama at my job I'm so grateful for this source of income while I find the job of my dreams and I just wanted to share that for me gratitude is kind of like food for the soul it just reminds me of how blessed I am and how blessed everyone I know is because we have everything that we need we may not have everything that we want but we have everything we need and that is so beautiful because as you you may even know some people that don't have everything that they need so just be be grateful for that and I want to just give you a couple tips to maybe start your own gratitude practice if you haven't already and it's just as easy as starting a gratitude journal with listing five to ten things that you're grateful for in your life and I I would also suggest this for new people start word yours like this I'm so glad to have blank because without it blank and so here's a example I'm so glad to have a cell phone because without it, I may not be able to make phone calls in case of emergency. So for a beginner, you might want to be able to see the value or the benefit of that item until it just fully clicks and you no longer have to write it that way. You know, as soon as you say, I'm grateful for your cell phone, all the little, you know, benefits are you get it you know what I'm saying you don't have to write it out you just know why you're grateful to have a cell phone so I hope this helps you and I would really suggest that you start your own gratitude practice because it really does shift some things it can turn a crappy day into a day that is much more joyful and pleasing thank you for stopping by love and gratitude